Hi, it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense, and today I'm going to show you the 10 $6 candles, you heard that right, $6 candles that I grabbed at Big Lots. Uh, these are all fall and Halloween. I have tested out a couple of their regular ones, and there's some hits and there's some misses, but let's get started. This is my haul and first impressions. I've burned three of these, but just only for a little while. So I'm not gonna give you my full post burn review until I am finished burning all the way through. But let's get started with the first one. They all have this pretty maple leaf lid. They are all three wick, 14 ounce. It says heavily fragranced. I don't know. This one is just like a very light buttercream vanilla smell. It's vanilla caramel pumpkin. I don't get any pumpkin in this at all. And there are no scent notes. So you're going to have to go with Jessica notes. But I'm only smelling like a vanilla buttercream out of this one. The next is pumpkin pistachio, which I found super interesting. The packaging on these guys are gorgeous. Another 14 ounce with the maple leaf lid. This one gives me pumpkin and pistachio, but very authentic pistachio. So it's not going to be like Bath and Body Works pistachio ice cream, like sweet pistachio. It actually smells like pumpkin and pistachio. Well, I'll have to try this out, but this one smells good. I kind of like that it's not super sweet. It's something different. So I'm excited to try that one. The next one is beautiful again, Autumn Applewood. The wax on this guy is like beautiful. It's hard to see in real life, but it's almost like a sage green with a little bit of blue added. It's a super pretty fall color. And this one is very lightly scented too. I get a little apple and a little woody, which makes sense because it's autumn apple wood. I will say the one that I burned, I didn't smell a lot from the candle on cold. And then when I burned it after half an hour, it filled up my entire office. So I'm probably going to say that these aren't going to be uh, house fillers, but they probably a lot will be room fillers. And I will fill you guys in after I burn them. There is one that I would say is medium to high throw that I've been testing. So this is the third one I burned. And I'm absolutely in love with this one. If you love Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works, you will love this guy. And it is called Smoked Caramel. It's a three wick candle. It's 14 ounce, highly fragranced. It doesn't, it's not even highly fragranced when you like smell it, but the it's like a sweet caramel, smoky, woody smell. And it is so good. This is my third one. And I would call it medium high because it fills up this room. And if this door is open, it fills up the bathroom, which is right behind me. And if you um, go into the following room behind that, it's another bedroom. And you can smell it in there too. I wouldn't say it's like going to fill my open concept unless maybe I burn two at a time. But this is amazing. And these are $6. So... I am going to test these all out and let you guys know so you don't waste your money. Another one that I'm halfway done with and I don't want to give a full review on it yet because I like to burn a candle at least once all the way through before I pass any kind of judgment, good or bad. Um, so this one's halfway done so I don't want to like go crazy. I'm also doing like kind of a banana candle review that's coming and so this one's on it. It's called Banana Bread. I would say there's no bread. There's no uh, like doughy smell at all, but it's just like a sweet, sweet banana smell, almost creamy, very smooth. I will say a lot of these candles, the smell on them are very smooth. And they do have thin wax. I don't know, or I don't know if you can see that uh, thin wax, thin wicks, but they're not performing horribly, so the wicks don't bother me unless they fall over, which one of these did, but I'll show you that when I get to it. So those are the ones that I'm in the middle of testing right now. I will say, get the smoked caramel. You're going to love it at Big Lots. It was available in store for me. The rest of these I had to buy online uh, and get shipped to me. They shipped 
so well. I mean, the packaging on these, I'm gonna insert a picture because I took a picture of it. None of them were broken. They were shipped perfectly. Almost like Big Lots is just a candle company. That's how well these were packed. It blew my mind. But let's get on and change things up with a Halloween one. This is called a Dark Enchantment line, I guess. And this is um, Falling Leaves. And this one's $6. This one's a little bit bigger. This one, Oh, no, this is 14 ounces. This one's a two wick. Look at this. It's all glitter with spiders all over it. They have multiple ones like this that are all different scents. This one is Falling Leaves, and it does remind me of Leaves from Bath & Body Works. I don't know if it's going to be as strong. Maybe that's a good thing because we all know Leaves from Bath & Body Works is definitely strong. But it's very strong on cold. So we'll see how that one performs. The next is this lid, the, or this pack of sticker is a little funky, but that's okay. This is Pumpkin Spice Latte. And this one's light too. It reminds me more of like a whipped coffee than a Paris Cafe. I'm ho I hope I'm making sense there. It's a lighter coffee scent. But again, burning, it might be different. So I will keep you updated. And what's this guy? Pumpkin pistachio, we went there. This one is dark enchantment pumpkin latte. The other one was pumpkin spice latte. Don't know if that makes a difference. But this is like black or black background with like gray roses. And then it does have the sparkle going on, the glitter. So pretty. And this one's a two wick two and it's 14 ounces. This one's more like Paris Cafe, like very strong coffee note. I'm not really getting any pumpkin. I'm just getting all strong coffee. So we'll see on this one too. But look at this packaging. Even if these aren't highly fragrant, let's say they just like let out a little bit of smell for $6. I mean, that's so cute. If you're going to a Halloween party with like a little hand towel and these, oh, so cute. This one's so cool. This one's another cool one where you can gift without it being strong. This one's $6 too. And it's from the Dark Enchantment. This is Sweet Caramel Toffee. And it just has a dust jacket on it, which I thought was so cool. Such a cute dust jacket. And then this is it. Oh, look, you can see me in the camera. Look how cool that is. So cool. I'm so excited about this one. It's not a very strong scent either. I'm actually not getting... I might be getting a little bit of toffee and a little bit of spice, but I'm not really getting any caramel. It's very light, so we'll see how this performs. But either way, this is such a cool Halloween candle. I'd get it. The next one is Rustic Pumpkin, which I was excited about. The brown wax. I know a lot of people don't like the brown wax because it reminds you of doo-doo. But I actually like it for, for fall. And this one's a very, like, woodsy smell. I get a little bit of pumpkin when it's burning, but it's almost like that. It's... It's almost just like a rustic woody smell like you went to the cabin for the weekend. That's what it smells like to me. And these are thin wicks and some of them, two of them, see how they're kind of pointed, tilted oddly and one's mushrooming. This did perform a little bit funky when with the wax moving, but besides that, it pulled out beautifully. Look how cool that looks. I think that's so cool. So we'll see, I'll update you on that one. I'm just, um like going over all of them so you can like maybe pick out the ones that you want to try and then in a couple days I will do a post burn review on every single one that I'm showing right now. The next one is Berry Preserves. Very cute packaging, very pretty red wax. I burnt this last night in the man cave which is the same size as this room, like a normal size room. And these are the wax. They did they did just fine. They're thin, but they're not doing really anything wrong. But this one was like a smooth jelly preserve smell. Almost like you went to like pick strawberries at a strawberry farm up north. And then you went inside to like purchase the goodies. And you could smell like the, uh, like the berry preserves that they're making in mason jars. That's what it smells like. And it was like pretty strong. It, I would say this was like a medium throw in the room. I definitely, when I walked in, that's all I could smell. And that one's really cute too. And then, is that all of them? 
Okay, last but not least is this guy, and this one is apple cinnamon, and this is Autumn Farmhouse apple cinnamon. This one's 16 ounce, this one's still $6 too. The packaging, look at that. It came with a dust jacket, which, where are you, guy? I'm not sure, but it came with a dust jacket. Here it is, and it says, Grow Love at Home Apple Cinnamon Scented Candle. And so far, it's performing amazing. It does have a little bit that hasn't burned yet, but I put that in the little pumpkin and it'll pull out just fine. But look at the color. It's like garnet, which is my birthstone. And they have multiple ones of these. And it's a beautiful glass. I know you can't tell in the picture, in the video, but these are, this is a big guy. There you go. That's it. Thank you all so much for watching. These are the 10 that I grabbed. I will grab more. Grab the smoked caramel. I'll be back with a post burn review on all of these. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.